don't eat all the bread, that's for the duck. Down, no. Oi, oi, I say. <laughs> Come over there and see that. Right above it. Cheek of a mess. We just ignore it. <laughs> Someone should give them lot a smack. Well, I thought you said you were against violence. I thought you said that violence is the last bastion of moral cowardice. Yeah, no. Well, leave it then. Come on, let's feed the ducks. Oi, oi, Douglas. Peaceful here, isn't it? Can't you really think and reflect on your life? I find the wolves are very calm. I know you do too. Especially on a day like today. Absolutely magical. All the troubles in the world float away. Oh, good, they've gone. See? Rise above it. <laughs> you know, I've been seeing a lot more of Anya recently since you got a visa through. So I want you two to get to know each other, all right? Yeah, I know. Oh, here she is. <laughs> Hello, Lou. Hello, Anya. <laughs> May I say you are looking lovely? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. <laughs> now, this is Anya, who I was telling you about. Hello, I'm Anya. Yeah, I know. Take a seat. Now, um, let me get everybody a drink. Um, oh, Anya, what would you like? Oh. <laughs> uh, pint of bitter, please. A pint of bitter, please. <laughs> um, Andy? I want nothing. Now, don't be silly. What do you want? Pint and another one. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Won't be a mo. <laughs> Lou tells me a lot about you. He's a very nice man, isn't he? I like him very much. <laughs> Ooh, what happened? She pushed me. Yeah, the trouble is, I think we're a bit lost. Let me just ask this lady. Uh, excuse me, love. I think we're a bit lost. Um, do you know the way to uh, Taplow Farm? Ah, uh, one moment. Hello, Mr. Horse. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> He's a good right, boy, isn't he? Let's yeah. have a look now. Taplow right. Farm, it's quite a way. Yeah, it's there on the map. I thought we were near it. Now, where the yellow line marks here? Oh, well, I thought lane. we were coming along this one. No, no, we're talking about the <laughs> You don't mind just sitting here for a bit and watching? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. The last time we came here, you said it was boring. You said that Torvalandine's barn and routine aside, ice skating was aesthetically bankrupt. Yeah, I will. <laughs> All right, I'll only be 20 minutes or so. Oh, when? Um, which crisp do you want? I want that one. The cheese and the onion, right. I don't want that one. <laughs> right. See you in a bit then. Oh. I wish me luck. If I can find someone. Oh, what a kerfuffle. You're miss my hero. You is not a lot I can do. I'll be as quick as I can. My hero! I 
don't think we need you anymore. <laughs> Come on. Andy! Andy! Where are you? Walked here. How did you get up there? I fell. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, I was worried sick. <laughs> what a kerfuffle. Well, that's a no idea. You can see he's not the most able bodied person there is. He's confined to a wheelchair. And I pushed that, so I'm not even sure he's got the strength in his arms to get up a tree. I mean, it's a mystery. I mean, something for Arthur D. Clark to put in the Arthur D. Clark's mysterious world. <laughs> Will Wilcox is thinking about in our song, it's a mystery. And I think the best thing I do now is get him home, early bath, early to bed, and they say a good idea it is a nice hot, warm, milky drink, like a cup of cocoa or something. Okay, we better get you home, young man. Yeah, no. Thank you. Oh, did they bring the ball down as well? Yeah. That was kind of them. <laughs> Now, I've planned the route to Chessington. It's really just straight down the A217. So, if we get our skates on, we'll be on the log flume by lunchtime. I don't want to go. But you've been going on non-stop about it for weeks. Chessington World Adventures this, Chessington World Adventures that. Yeah, no. Where do you want to go instead? France. France? <laughs> yeah. But I thought you hated France. I thought you said the French could never be forgiven for surrendering to the German war machine and collaborating with their occupiers to set up the Vichy government. Yeah, no. Chessington it is, then. I want to go France. Christ, with the other years. <laughs> I want to go Chessington. So, you excited about this date? Yeah. What date? The date. I set it up on a date with a lady. Yeah, no. Now, her name is Francesca. And I said we'd meet her at the steps at five sharp. Ooh. She's early. Hello, Francesca. How are you? Very well, thanks. Oh, that is good. Now, this is Andy, who I was telling you about. Hello, Andy. I don't want that one. <laughs> Why not? She's in a wheelchair. Yes, I know she's in a wheelchair. I don't like her. Well, it's early days. Look, I'll leave you two alone. Uh, you don't need me here playing raspberry, all right? Now, have a lovely time. Well, Andy, I've heard a lot about you. Not today. He's very cold in there, and I need someone else to help you get in and out. And I haven't even brought your trunk, so the whole thing will be a right for a buckle. Want to go swimming? No, I thought you didn't like swimming in the sea. I thought you said that the sea is a dark and brutal force that has dragged many an innocent to a watery grave. Yeah, no. Oh, good. If you stay there, I'll go and get you a chalk ice. Hello, Mrs. Chalk Ice Teller. Um, what types of chalk ice have you got today? You've got your plain chocolate and your milk chocolate. And what's the main difference between the two? The milk one is it, creamier, it is sweeter, isn't it? Yeah, plain chocolate. The plain chocolate has a slightly dark and bitter edge to it, doesn't it? Not to everybody's taste, but some people do prefer the plain over the milk. It is very interesting, that. Um, if you had to pick between the two, what would you choose? You choose the plain one. Your cars you can get. Alright, thanks a lot. Is there a reason why you're naked? 